Hey, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know, but I'm all about the stereoscopic 3D. And I am so excited because DaVinci Resolve 18 has a new feature. It's automatic depth mapping. So you can take a 2D image, like an old commercial or something like that. I often put those in my videos and I've converted them over the years with various methods and it's kind of horrible. But this is actually pretty good, the depth mapping on DaVinci 18. And you will have to have the full version to do this. Any kind of stuff with stereoscopic 3D has to be done with the full version. So we have a clip of me looking kind of strange. <laughs> but anyway, we've got this clip right here, a video clip of me hold, uh, with a headset on. And then I'm going to run that clip into a depth map. And that's shown right there. It automatically does it for you. You can see this is a little darker here because it's further back. The earphones just a tiny bit darker right here tiny bit darker because it knows that that is further back in the picture now we have to have another copy of of that right there it's the same video this one's just probably zoomed out a little bit so we have one copy here one copy there we've got one r running into a depth map which is automatic now uh there are different things you can fix with the gamma and all that so if you don't like the way the depth map is looking you can you move those around and you can make things further or closer according to all these settings. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. So anyway, we go back to this original video copy here and we'll put that on a an image plane 3D. So we have it on an image plane like that. And then we put the depth map into the input of a displacement 3D and the image goes into the input of the displaced 3d and then you get that so it's displaced it's pushing all the depth all the depth information is being pushed forward and you can also scale this and do bias and things like that to adjust it and then we put that all into a merge 3d and of course with any kind of 3d stuff you have to have a 3d camera and so you can see that i have a 3d camera it's got a virtual second camera because i have set it over here the eye separation is 0 0.5 0 0.5 is the eye separation convergence is 1.5 now this stuff is just stuff that i've messed around with i don't know what i'm doing this is just i just said hey it does automatic depth math so i've got to figure out a way to make that into 3d and then i just started doing this stuff i did watch some tutorials about how the displacement 3d can make things kind of 3d but people were having to make their own depth map oh i've hit the microphone it's all over now so anyway we've got the camera set up i'll show you where i've got it in 3d space it's 1.0 everything else is zeroed out so that's all in the merge 3d then out of the merge 3d you have to have a 3d renderer where'd it go render 3d so in a render 3d you get your choice of monoscopic eye left right and stack so if you've got a stacked image you can use that so i've got two of them i've got that one coming or i've got the right one that's on right and then if i click on the left you can see that comes out as left and then those go into a combiner and with the combiner that's where and this is what oops get out of there and that's what the combiner looks like so i've got it on vertical if i go to horizontal that's what you get right there and then you go into anaglyph and on anaglyph you can pick whether you've got it in vertical or horizontal right now we've got it in horizontal and i'll show you what the output of the anaglyph looks like and with the anaglyph you can choose monochrome oops Oh, you can choose your different glasses, depending on what kind of glasses you have. And then you can choose monochrome, half color, half color, color, optimized, and arguably the best is the Dubois. It sounds like the best, doesn't it? So anyway, that's Anaglyph. Now, if you didn't want it to go out of Anaglyph, you could come right out of the combiner and go right out to your media out. 
so that you can render it and whatever you've come out of the combiner with that's what you're going to get side by side is a standard format for stereoscopic 3d in case you didn't know and also a if i go to the combiner also people often do it with the stacked version the vertical so those are a couple of standard things that we people that do stereoscopic 3d use so this is pretty cool and let's go ahead and play it for you I'm not going to play well here, but it will play out once I put it on the screen. Oh, I've got it stacked. So i got to go over to vertical. There we go. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you also will be able to convert your own videos from 2D to 3D and have a lot of fun.